Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another Dauntless video. Today I'm going to be breaking down the best sword for every type of element in Dauntless and bringing you guys a build for each and every single one of them. Before we get started, I want to let you guys know what we're actually looking for in a sword build and those are the four meta pillars of damage. Etheric Attunement, Conduit, Overpower, and Rage Hunter. After that, we have two main options, Cunning and Predator, and then we have some tertiary options like Evasive Fury, Molten, Knockout King, etc. Any other perk than that is just filler or complimentary or just nice to have. Etheric Attunement and Conduit are like the bread and butter, the peanut butter and jelly, or the macaroni and cheese perks in the game. They work in tandem with each other so perfectly, you kind of need them in any build that you do. Etheric Attunement reduces your instacast cooldown of your lantern and increases your lantern charge gain from attacks, which in turn allows you to use your hold to cast, which procs conduit, which then lets you attack faster, therefore getting you more lantern charge quicker and reducing your cooldown for your hold to cast, which allows you to hold the cast again, which procs conduit again, and the cycle continues on. Since Sword does stagger damage, Overpower will nearly double your damage for those brief damage windows, and it will also allow you to stagger chain behemoths once you break apart, as those are considered staggers as well. Rage Hunter is a flat increase to your damage that will be active in every single hunt, and that is why you can't skip out on them. But those are, right now, what we're looking for, and if the meta shifts in the future, then I'll be sure to let you guys know, but for now, these are the things you should be going for in your builds if you are focusing on DPS especially for Sword. I also want to mention that for every one of these builds, my special is always going to be Valiant Overdrive because I consider that the strongest option, and the mod is also going to be Reactive Health for every single one of them. Again, because I consider that the strongest available option, and the lantern I'm going to be using in every single one of these builds is going to be the Drask Fury Lantern because it has the best option for pure DPS. With all that out of the way, let's get started. First off, neutral damage. For this one, we're going to be using the Nasher Sword, the Raging Blade. The reason being that it has plus three Rage Hunter on the actual weapon and a power cell slot. But the main reason we chose this weapon for neutral is because the other two swords are pretty trash. As for the build, you actually have two options, a build with plus six cunning or plus six predator. If you want cunning, you can wear the Rezakiri chest piece and slot in a cunning cell into your helmet, and if you want predator, you can wear the Koshai chest piece and then slot in a predator cell into your helmet. If you prefer crits, you can rock cunning, but if you prefer a more consistent source of damage with the occasional crit thanks to reactive hilt, then roll with Predator. There's pros and cons to both. With Cunning, you're relying on RNG to boost your damage through the majority of the fight. But with Predator, you completely lose your beefed up damage if you screw up a dodge or randomly get hit by something. I personally prefer Cunning because that way I don't have to worry too much about being bad and losing Predator, but that's just me. And both of these builds also have plus six tough on them, so you can actually tank quite a bit before you have to worry about dying, which is nice. But either one is entirely up to you. Moving on to Blaze damage, I'm sure every Everyone knows where this is going, because I sure do! For this one we're going to be using the Hellion Sword, and the build for this one is the same one that I featured on my Best Swords Builds video, I'll leave a little card if you guys want to go check that out, but the helmet is Hellion, the chest piece and gloves are from Rizakiri, and the boots are Koshai. With this you get everything. You get plus 6 etheric attunement, conduit, cunning, overpower, predator, and rage hunter. The damage is insane, and I don't think there's much left for me to say on this one. Just try it out for yourself if you haven't, and definitely get yourself these pieces. Next up is frost damage. For this one, we're going to be using the Boreas Sword, the reason being that the increase in damage is really nice whenever we have our special active, and it also has a power cell in it. Because of the Boreas passive, this is the one time I'll say that if you want to use perpetual blade core instead of reactive hilt as your mod, you can. Remember that if you do do that, you will literally never be able to crit because we can't fit cunning into this build. The helmet is Drask, the chest piece and boots are from Koshai, and the gloves are Nasher. With this, you'll have all four pillar perks as well as Predator, and you have a spare defense cell slot that you can fit with whatever you want. I put in tough because I'm bad, and you'll also have three spare levels of conditioning, which is actually pretty damn nice because it allows you to recover from dodging a lot faster, and you can also spam the repeating elements move a little bit more often if you want to go for that, which you kind of can with the Boreas Sword thanks to the little sprite special. Now moving on to Shock. Our weapon of choice for this element is going to be the Drask Sword. This has plus three etheric attunement, which is fantastic, and it has great cell slots, as well as a passive that deals 30% more damage to Behemoth Tails. While not super relevant, it's actually a pretty significant up in damage that comes in hand more often than you might think, especially versus Koshai, which is weak 
to shock. The armor for this is going to be the Hellion Helmet, the chest and gloves are Koshai, and the gloves are going to be Nasher. With this, we once again have all four meta pillar perks as well as Predator and some cunning, which is great. You'll crit sometimes, but if you don't find it worth it, you can alternatively swap out the chest piece for the Rezakiri chest piece and slot in the Predator instead. And that way you have more crit and a decent upgrade to damage whenever you're not hit. That part is up to you, but on this one, I do prefer running Predator. And as a cherry on top, we also have plus three energized, because why not? You have a spare utility slot on the sword, might as well use it to get your special back even faster. Next up is Terra damage. For this one, we're going to be using the Koshai sword, mainly because the other Terra options are trash, but the armor and souls for this are going to be exactly the same as our shock build, which is ironic considering that Terra and shock are opposing elements, which I guess is actually a commentary about our society. It really goes to show that despite our strife and warring with one another, deep down we're all actually just the same, and we want the same things. Prosperity. And the only thing limiting us from achieving these things are labels. Labels that this society forces on us. Anyway, this gives you all the perks, the only difference being that you have plus 3 sharpened, which is a nice addition, I guess. And you also have the Koshai passive that increases your damage by 25% for 4 attacks after not dealing damage for 6 seconds. You won't exactly be playing to proc this or basing your gameplay around it. Ideally, you would never want to stop dealing damage, but hey, if it procs for whatever reason, then it procs. And if anything, it's a nice little bump in damage right at the beginning of a hunt. Moving on, we have the last two elements. First up, Radiant. For this one, we're going to be using the Rezakiri sword because it is amazing. It has great slots, it has plus three cunning, and its passive gives it a chance for attacks to hit twice. The build for this is also the one that I showed in my best swords build video. You can go check that out if you want a full breakdown. But anyway, the helmet is Hellion, the chest piece is Rask, the gloves are Nasher, and the boots are Koshai. This build gives you all the same perks as the Hellion sword build, so it's pretty much perfect. And finally last, and maybe least, is Umbral. For this one, we're going to be using the Riftstalker Sword, and the reason I'm not using Shroud is because the passive bonus damage that you get from the Sword passive is not as strong as the damage you might get from the Riftstalker orbs, and it's a lot less risky to have it proc'd. Unfortunately, the plus three Wild Frenzy on the sword is kind of meh. We're not really going to be playing to proc it, but the good news is that the armor is actually exactly the same as the Rezakiri one, so it's the same build just sadly, it only has plus three cunning instead of plus six. But with plus six predator and the Riftstalker passive, you'll honestly have more than enough damage because your increase in just raw damage will mean that you'll be making more orbs more often. And that's it guys, those are my builds for every element for swords, let me know if you guys would like to see this done for other weapons. The only weapon I won't do is repeaters, because well, all you have to do is swap out the barrel, lamau. But yeah, please let me know in the comments, I'm also working on builds for pike and chain blades, I just have to actually unlock all the mods and special, and I've just been very busy uh, with the new season in Destiny and other games and whatnot. Anyway, join the Discord, there's a bunch of new active players on there in the Dauntless tab, so come on in. I would like to thank my patrons for their continued support, and if you guys want to help support me directly then consider pledging to my patreon as that is the most direct way of doing so but as always your viewership is more than enough and i want to thank you for it and i'll see you guys in the next one take care